Good morning, YouTubers. And today we're heading out to go wrestle with some poison oak. So what do we use in that situation? Tech new. After a long day of wrestling with some poison oak, we come home, wash off with this stuff. It works great. And also wear some long sleeves, some long pants. And what I did with my sleeves was I cut a hole right here, put my thumb through it, put my thumb through it, and then put some gloves on because I really do get breakouts. So we're heading on out to the first job of the day. And we've been super busy. So yeah, this stuff is awesome. So we are pulling up to the first job of the day. And look at JoJo. It's going to be a big day today. Like long, huh? It's going to be super long. Yeah. But it's all good. We're getting money. So let's see if we lock this one in. What do you think? More house money. That's what I think. That's what I'm yeah. talking about. House money. Get house the money. House. What's more motivating than going to work to buy a house? There ain't nothing more motivating than that. No, there's nothing more motivating than that. And if JoJo has to take a piss, check it out. We got a spot for her to urinate. I think they're taking that away. Are they really? <laughs> I do. I, I think I'm out of luck again. <laughs> no, he just dropped it off. Oh. You got lucky today. He did drop it off. They knew I was coming. Yeah, you got to steal that teepee and bring it back home. <laughs> so you know what happened, right? My A game is on point. We locked it in, so we're good. And we're in Fountain Grove, and this is where the fire came through and burnt everything down. So there's tons of new construction, brand new homes, homes being built in empty lots. And maybe a piece of property for us to buy. Oh, yeah. You it's never so know. So we're gonna bust this out, get it done, then head to the landfill. So yeah, customer service game is on point, guys. Locking jobs in. So here's job number uno. It ain't that bad. All this stuff needs to go. Leave a comment down below what you guys would price this job. And also that patio furniture over there needs to go too. So tip of the day, when Jojo feeds me butter and garlic, stand six feet away from me at all times the next day. It's bad right now. It's bad, I cook it with a lot of garlic, so. Yeah, it ain't smelling good over here guys, but we're getting it done. Jojo, look at me. What? Have you been partying all night? Are you serious? Wow. You caught me. You got some powder on your nose. <laughs> so about 20 minutes later, job is complete, and JoJo left the party trail. She was doing a live last night. And yeah, you almost got a full load. Yeah, the bag was wet and it ripped at the bottom. So it is what it is. Not our fault. And we do not take chemicals, so you know. You ready to get paid and roll? Yep. Let's do On it. to the next one. Right? Oh, yeah. Busy day. So, job is complete and we just got paid and we got a $60 tip, baby. Loving it. All right, so we're headed to the landfill and my prediction is $85. I'm going to say $86. A dollar different. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> now, let's talk trash in the dump line with Matt Vic and JoJo Lena. Now we're gonna talk about competition. Not everyone's gonna agree with this. You can either go against your competition or you can work with them. What are you gonna do, Jojo? I think you should work with them. Definitely work with your competition. I'm gonna tell you guys like this. After you've been doing junk removal for a while, you'll get super busy and you don't wanna take on every single job. So if you can't get to a job, you can always just refer someone, shoot it their way and it'll be vice versa. When they need someone, when they're busy, they'll shoot the work back to you. So I wanna give a special thanks to next day, David. He actually 
sent me something in the mail. I shot him some work. He sent me a gift card for $125. And that's awesome. Yeah, that was really nice of him. So, yeah. Work with your competition. There's enough junk out here for everyone to pick up. And just, uh, yeah, don't be a greedy person. I mean, I understand if you're first starting out, you want every single job. But once you get to a certain point where you're super busy, doing junk removal is can burn you out super fast. How fast can it burn you out, Jojo? It can burn you out. It can burn you out because you want to keep going and you you want to take a day off, but you keep scheduling and before you know it, it's been three weeks and you haven't had a day off. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got to take some time off to go fishing. And Todd, I'm coming out there. Don't trip. We're going to uh, set up a charter thing. I'm going to head out there to the bay and go fishing with you. So, yeah, I've been super busy, super swamped, and uh, we've been getting money. So, we're over here in the land field right now, and our predictions are in. Find of the day, silver baby. But when you're hauling and bowling, you only want gold. I'm just playing, it wasn't silver. <laughs> but always keep an eye out for that. I'll say 925 or sterling, guys. Now, when you work super hard like the Jojo Lena, you get a holes in your t-shirt. I know, I have a hole, I have a hole in my shirt. Who's about to pop out? What the hell? It's time for a new t-shirt, baby. So the Jojo one, she said $85. It was 1,100 pounds. And how does that feel? Just the, the first of many more today. I plan on winning all of those today. Wow, yeah. really? Yep, everyone. Alright, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So we are pulling up to job number two and it's for a contractor we do jobs for. And he says he has about a half a load. We're in the area, so we're over here taking care of it right now. And we're in Hillsburg, California. This is where Jojo grew up at. Oh yeah, I love Hillsburg. It's a beautiful little town. Yeah. So we're about to get this done. I think that's a pile right there. You guys can see it's right there. It's not bad. Well, we'll find out. So here's the pile. And it's gonna be more than a half load. You guys can see it's all this stuff right here needs to go. All these boxes, all this trash. And there's some trash cans inside we'll grab and dump. And some more pallets and wood over there. So we're about to get it done. We almost got a full load. It wasn't a half load, almost a full load. And the contractor ain't here right now. So you always want to double check before you take some. He said, take everything on the side of this wall. But I sent him a pick of these and he said, nah, keep those, he's saving those. So we'll pick up all the trash cans inside and then head to the landfill. And then, uh, yeah, picking up every little piece. Job two down. Down. So job two is complete. And people always ask about the lift gate. They say they've never seen a dump truck with a lift gate. Well, let me tell you, Bob out there at Monarch Trucks in San Jose hooked it up and they're known for that. And how much of a game changer is that, Jojo? Oh, it's great. It's great. Um, the, it's, it's great in a couple of different ways because you can lift heavy stuff. You just put it on there and it lifts it for you and you just push it in. It's also good um, as a step for, um, you know, getting the harder to reach areas. I love it, it's great. So it's definitely a game changer and yeah. So we're heading to the landfill and what's your prediction of the dump feed, Jojo? This one is going to be, I'm gonna say 100. I'm gonna say 105. Now we back at it again, talking trash in the dump line with Jojo and Matt Vick. What are we gonna talk about? I don't know. Talk about how <laughs> junk removal is the shit and working for someone else sucks. Cause I used to work at Safeway. 
and I put in 150%, bust my ass, work hella hard, and never moved up. Yeah, I was thinking earlier how junk removal, in the scope of hard work, it really, it really is not bad. Um, I, I'm super liking. <laughs> I like it a lot. I've had um, really a lot less appealing jobs, making a lot less money. So um, I just, I think junk removal's the shit. Well, we haven't got to job number three yet, so don't speak too soon. <laughs> it might be torture. We're gonna find out. Yeah. So yeah, it's better to own your own business and run your own business than work for someone else. Especially when someone promises you, you this and that and nothing ever happens and you work your ass off. At least when you work for yourself and you work your ass off, you see your bank account go up. You're rewarded. You're rewarded big time. You are. You're rewarded with feeling good because you accomplished um, it because it's your business. And then you're also awarded with money and it's just, it feels great. Um, I was... The worst job I had was a waitress, and I hated waitressing. I was such a bad waitress. I was not a good waitress. Um, and your legs hurt, and your feet hurt, and I always got orders wrong, and and I made hardly nothing a long time ago. You made like $2 an hour in Tennessee waitressing, so this really is much Holy better than cow. that. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> so it don't matter if you want to be a plumber, a handyman, a trash guy, or even a hooker. Just do it. <laughs> You'll make more money. Why are you laughing? Oh, not, not, I didn't mean me, me no. a hooker. You know, strive to be whatever you want to be in life. Yeah. Work for yourself. Yeah. So guess who won two in a row? I said I was going to win them all today. Wow. Yeah, so two down, one more to go. So we are pulling up to job number three, and we made about over eight grand in the last two months over here. And this is where the poison oak pile's at. If you guys can see, the redneck cut all this stuff up over here. And he said he drug it through poison oak, so. Safety first, long sleeves, long pants, and a JoJo. Yes. Don't dig your face in that pile. I won't. I've, um, I've never ever had poison oak before. I've been in it and through it, and I've just, never got it before but I am still taking precautions today because I know that as you get older your body chemical like changes and sometimes things that you didn't get before you start getting so um, I'm just gonna make sure I don't get it either let me tell you a story real quick we did a job in Cloverdale California and I was working with a buddy of mine and he's like, I don't get this stuff I don't get poison oak he was digging through the pile, standing in it. The next morning he called me up and guess what happened? He said he had poison oak on his balls, on his face. So safety first, I don't want that stuff. Yeah, I helped with that pile too and didn't get poison oak, but I'm thinking maybe someday I'll get poison oak and know what it feels like, but I don't want to. So how was that, the first pile? <laughs> it was a lot of getting down on my knees. Oh wow, that didn't sound right. <laughs> so the first pile is done. And we got one more pile. And if you guys can see, got my thumb through the shirt, through the one gloves away, right there if you guys can see them. And I'm hopping the vehicle and play it extra safe. Like I'm wrapping the condom around my, you know what. Gotta play it safe with the poison oak, baby. So yeah. Now let's see how bad pile two is. The first pile took us about 30 minutes. And then there's a pile over here. Let's see how bad it is. So here's pile two. And it ain't that bad. It ain't gonna be one load, I don't think, babe. Yeah, I think it's gonna be more of a load. So we'll have her hand it to me and I'll squish it down like a sardine, baby. So yeah. <laughs> Guess what? It's gonna be a load and a half, people. Yeah. What you gotta say about that? Yard debris is a lot of work. I mean, put into account there's poison oak all in that, but just yard debris is not my favorite part of junk removal. 
I look like a sweaty bum. Check me out. What's your prediction of the dump fee? I'm gonna say $73. 64. Let's see what happens. So what's 76? I win. Does that feel horrible? You didn't it, get three in a row? It feels a little horrible because I was really thinking I would have won that. I thought I was going to win three in a row. I think the scale's wrong. Whatever. I do. I think it was wrong. It's $84 for a ton of green weights. It was, we do not have a ton. No, it's 1,800 pounds, almost a ton. I, I won. So. I'm the champ today, yeah. baby. So we are back for round number four. And if you guys are ever wrestling with poison oak or poison ivy, the stuff to use is tech new. Don't forget to wash up with it. And uh, hopefully everyone's hauling and balling and getting cash. We got two more bids to go take care of. And uh, you want to say anything, Jojo? No, I'm looking forward to being done. Wow. For the day. <laughs> Hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Keep hauling and balling.